Cleaning Up Coloma, Memorial Day Weekend. Due to scheduling conflicts, Chet and I drove up separately. We traveled through multiple spots of rain and even some periods of thunderstorms. On Highway 21, while heading to Coloma, he saw what he thought was smoke from a fire. Turns out it was just some weird-looking clouds and steam rising up from the trees. Later, he saw a rainbow. Although he couldn't get a photo of it, it was actually a double rainbow to start. Saturday morning, we spent eight hours cleaning up the yard. This included bringing the wood chipper over and creating some mulch. I also tried to dig out a big hump in the driveway to ease us getting back into the camping spot. Saturday afternoon into the early morning hours of Sunday, we had a graduation party to attend. Exploring Sand Hill Wildlife Area, May 26, 2024. Sunday, we thought we'd explore Sand Hill Wildlife Area. Although the forecast was 50 in rain, I didn't think it would matter, as there is a 14-mile trumpeted trail that drives through the wildlife area. Before we had even begun filming, we encountered a large snapper in the roadway. He didn't stick around to have his photo taken. Sandhill Wildlife Area is one of three wildlife parks that comprise the Sandhill Meadow Valley Work Unit. All three areas total nearly 90,000 acres and span Wood County, Juneau, Monroe, and Jackson counties. The Sandhill Wildlife Area has an outdoor skills center that has programs offered year-round. The majority of Sandhill Wildlife Area is fenced in. In the wildlife area is an enclosure for bison, a deer management fence, and multiple flowages. Thank you.
Huh, ah, bluebird at a fence post. It feels like I'm walking down a ladder. Oh man. I feel like I should go down facing the other way. Yeah, I told you it was like walking down a ladder. Normally when you walk down a ladder, you turn around. We filmed out of sequence because I missed the tower the first time around. But this is where we parked and had lunch. The Trumpeter Auto Trail is open seasonally from spring through fall. Is a deer? Or is that a buffalo? What the fuck is that? I'm pretty sure that's a deer right there. Yeah, it just ran right there. Straight in front of you. Between the trees. Beginning to think they are not out and about. Invisible. They're probably laying down somewhere. Where we parked before and ate lunch, there's an observation tower right behind that. I don't know if that would be. I thought the observation tower was closed. I don't know if it was or wasn't. I just saw that there was a tower there. The wildlife area offers many opportunities for picnicking, hiking, and wildlife viewing. So where is it? Is that it? There's a big stump that broke off right there. Throughout the Trumpeter Auto Trail are interpretive signs detailing park maintenance, wildlife, and the flowages. Although it is an auto trail, bicycles and hikers are welcome. Hiking is available year round. The park is also open to snowshoeing and skiing, although none of the trails are groomed. There's a main entrance that allows the auto traffic. The second entrance allows additional foot traffic. So there are like our three towers, if that one's closed. The North Bluff one is closed.
Currently there are two observation towers. One along the bison pasture and one along the Gallagher Marsh. Hunting is also allowed in all three of these wildlife areas. Although the forecast was 50 degrees in rain, we did not expect to see almost two inches of rain. Scared to shoot out of something. During the early days of the wildlife area, numerous studies were conducted on deer and ruffed grouse. This research has been used to manage the deer and grouse populations in Wisconsin. common wildlife are deer, coyotes, 
and many small mammals such as porcupines, squirrels, raccoons, rabbits. There's also many species of turtles, snakes, and frogs, and an abundance of birds, including owls, hawks, eagles, swans, geese, turkeys, bluebirds, sandhill cranes, great blue heron. Free camping is available in the Wood County Wildlife Area and the Meadow Valley Wildlife Area. Although the camping is only allowed from April 1st to May 31st and from September 1st through December 31st. All campers must register before setting up. The wildlife area includes forested land that is managed with timber harvests. The wildlife area also does periodic drawdowns of the flowages and wetlands to duplicate nature. Current efforts are ongoing to restore native prairie, oak, savanna, and barrens in the area. This includes removing some vegetation, burning some areas, and seeding of native vegetation. 